This one is different though. They're all different. You'll meet another one next week and she too will be different, I'm sure. Not like this one, mommy. Mm. Good practice for hell, man. <laughs> Daryl, uh, I want you to talk to Gregory for my boy. What are you up to now? The army sent for him. He said he's going to join up with them. I tell him try and get an ordinary work. Save some money, go and study. You know, do something like you. Not everybody wants to go and bus book for four years, you know. So you encouraging him in this army stupidness? No, 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 no. I ain't encouraging nothing. All I say is everybody ain't cut out for university. Some people good at other things. All I say is he should try and get himself together. I don't like this army thing for him, man. It's not so much what you like, you know. But I see father, I must know what's good for him. Talk to him now, Darren. He's listening to you, you know. He have a lot of respect for you. Okay. I'll have a wrap with him. Thanks a lot, Darren. Your father inside? Yeah. Daddy! Come in now, Harry. Hi, Morgan, how are you doing, man? What happened? Come, let me take a drink, man. Ah, boy, that's the best <laughs> news I hear for the day, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this one. Hey, how are you going, Daddy? What's going on? All right. Hi, cool. So, what are you doing? Carburetor giving me some problem, man. Oh, the dry shaft wet. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> what do you mean? I'll get yeah, you then. rolling just now. You old man, I'll put have a little rap with you, you know, about this army thing. What do you do that for? I'm a big man, I know what I want. This is what I tell him, but he still insists that I talk with you, so I'm talking with you. <laughs> you want me to go away and sit? If I ain't going in the next man country to catch my tail, Darrell, I'm going to catch my tail right here. You know, with a degree, Gregory, you could really get a good job. I ain't want no degree, Darrell. Some people cut out for degree. I know I was no degree man since I was in second form. You really feel that you're the army? I know I am, Darrell. I was in Ikada since second form, man. I couldn't make it in the army. And Darrell, you did a big favor, man. So don't try and talk now, please. Well, I talk to you, eh? Yeah, Catch him with you as usual, man. Think I do wrong, man. Ansela? Ansela! Come here! What? Is the Muslim now, eh? Nah, some fellas leave it for me, man. Interesting. 
Hi. Hi. How do I look? Oh, good. <laughs> Looking bad. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You sure? Of course I'm sure. Mm. Tell my dad we are going out. All right. See you later, Jerry. I told you I met on Saturday night. Mm, remind me, the really different one? The really different one who wouldn't give me her phone number. Oh, then forget her. No, no, I find out where she's working. <laughs> well, I don't see what difference it would make if she doesn't want to see you. Fate will arrange that one, Mom. I will make sure that. The girl is mine. The girl is mine. <laughs> I've got the sweet good morning. The morning just all right for me. Yo, you tell me morning, you tell me twice, you tell me morning. Morning's just alright for me. I am alright this morning. The morning's just a light for me. Body letter on Friday. The old man is not so pleased at all. Don't worry about it. He'll understand that what you really want, and he'll get used to it. I'm not so sure. He's just so upset that I'm not going to be a doctor or something like that. Eh? Don't think about that now. Come on, let's go back in. Oh, again? Come on. Come on. I am alright this morning. The morning's just a light for me. meeting you here. What are you doing? I work here. What about you? I had some business here and I got lost. This must be fate. <laughs> I doubt it. Come on. Why else would I come to this office at this time if we weren't destined to meet again? How about a drink after work? Today? I have to practice after work. And after practice drink then? No, it'll be too late to go anywhere then. Lunch tomorrow? I don't think Hold so. Hold on, Ingrid. Give us a chance. All you're saying is I don't, don't, don't. You only don't. And what about I do? You have nothing to lose. Okay. What did you say? Okay. Okay as in yes? Yes. All right. I'll pick you up here. At 12. I'll be in trouble. I'll be there. Hey, is that my time? <laughs> Oh. 
Hey, Ma, I need ten dollars. You feel like picking up money on the ground? It's only ten dollars. Well, if it's only ten dollars, why you don't go somewhere else and get it? Huh? Why you don't go and look for work, boy? Well, I look for work everywhere. They have no work nowhere. It's the kind of work you want, Jerry. If it's big short work you want, you ain't gonna get it. Okay, anything I get, I go take. Ma, I real broke. Jerry, I have no money. I have rent to pay, I have food to buy, I have electricity bills to pay. You don't have to rub it in, all right? Who do you think I just feel when I have to ask you for money? Jerry, I know it's hard, but I don't have no money. If your father didn't go away with that woman he living with, and you stay here and mind his family, things would have been different. It's all right, Ma. It's all right. I know you just do your best, son, Flynn. It's all right. The committee has decided to go on a sick out next week, Friday. And we want a hundred percent support okay you heard me Daryl I heard you all right and you with us or not we have to make a stand Daryl you and you stick out with the rest of us or not no make up your mind Daryl either you are part of the solution or you are part of the problem Granville your way is not the solution so what is the solution then sitting down and doing nothing Make up your mind, Daryl. I already have. 